So let's look at the data convention for the uh, mu the couple inductor symbol. And for the couple inductor symbol, we typically just draw two, like two inductors. And something like this. And we will label, let's see, this is the inductor, this is L1, this is L2, the mutual inductance is just M. This is a very commonly used symbol for this. And remember, we had the currents, sometimes the currents, the mutual, the, uh, let's see if I have I1, we have I1, I2 here. And how we know whether the flux they add up or they are, they are actually in the opposite direction, they subtract from each other. And what we do is we put a two dots here. So we put the dots here and another dot here. And we call this dot terminal, and we call this one also dot terminal. We have four terminals, right? The ones with the dots that we call dot terminal. And if the current flow into the dot terminal, both currents flow into the dot terminal and then their flux will add up. So that's it. both current, both currents uh, flow into or both flow away from from the dot terminal. and the flux will end up. So this is the, probably this is the only principle you need to kind of remember because this convention is just uh, everybody following the same kind of rules, right? So when we put the dots, we, what we mean is that all the flux will add up to each other. So therefore, if you have, you label also label the voltage V1 and V2, and you're going to have V1 is equal L1 di1 dt because their flux add up. So you have plus here, M times I2 D, uh, di2 dt. And V2 is going to be equal L di2 dt plus M di1 dt. The, the, uh, there's positive sign in front of the M, right? So that's the four. The convention and so this would flow into or if we, if uh, as I did in the nodes and if we both flow away from that's the same right. so let's see if the current I1 is flow from uh, I2 and I2 oh I can still or oh, maybe I can still just label I1 on the top Let's say this is I1, this is I2. If I put the dots uh, in the in these two terminal on these two terminals, that's the same, right? Because this doesn't really change anything. Um, but let's see if you have one go into the dot terminal. If you have one go into the dot terminal and the other one is leaving from the dot terminal, that's a different story. Okay, so let's see I have here. I have I1 and then I have the the second one in here I have this terminal here and I2 like this and for this one and this since this two cur the Since this two uh, flux is in the opposite direction so therefore V1 is going to be equal L D I one D T minus M D I two D T and V two is going to be equal minus negative M D I one D T plus L two D I D I two D T. So this is the data convention. Only the data convention really kind of uh, only make a difference with respect to the current, right? And here we are. We, I didn't mention the passive sign convention. The passive sign convention that means the current goes into the dot terminal, into the plus terminal, the uh, the voltage reference mark, right? 
So both I1 and V1 now, they are following the passive sign convention, and V2 and I2 are following the passive sign convention. So if somebody trying to confuse you, you're not following the passive sign convention, then you need to put a negative sign in, into the whole thing, right? Let's see if the I2 and V2 is not following the passive sign convention, and you need to put um, V2 is going to be the negative the whole thing on the right hand side of the second equation here, right? Uh, I hope we will do um, some practice problem that will clear this out. Let's look at another example. Um, so the example here, these are all your symbols and I don't have numbers. Uh, so let's see, we know the current, the current may be some sort of sinusoidal. So this is the given. And uh, we know the uh, mutual, the self-inductance, and also the mutual inductance for the coupling inductor, and also a label. So I have a dot label here. Also, I label the voltage and current for you, and um, on the on the secondary winding. And we're trying to find what the V1 is. So uh, let's start with the coupling inductor first. Right, so this is the uh, this is the um, this is just the couple inductor, right? So let's see if we can find a V1 and and um, uh, V2 with respect to I1 and I2. So let's look at first determine I1 and I2. Their flux uh, direction is in the same direction or in the opposite directions. So I1 is going into the Dodge terminal, right? I2 is going into the on Dodge terminal or leaving from the Dodge terminal because going into here and following and it will leave from the, the Dodge terminal. So therefore, there, the flux is going to be in opposite direction. Therefore, V1 should be equal to I, L1 di1 dt minus m di2 dt, right? V2 should be equal to uh, negative m di1 dt plus L sub 2 di2 dt. And based on the circuit connection, we also know V2 is equal to 0, right? V2 is equal to zero, I1 is equal to I sub S, equal to the current. So therefore we have, and we have um, for this, from the second equation, we have uh, di2, we're trying to eliminate the i2 because we we want to find, so the i s is known, i2 is not known. So we're trying to eliminate this, this one, di2 dt, from a second equation that should be equal to um, m over L sub 2 di1 dt, right? Or di1 is equal to uh, is, so I just uh, substitute it, I replace this. Uh, so that's equal m over L sub 2 dis dt. And now I can substitute this di2 into the first equation here. So that's multiplied by m, right? And also, uh, so v1 is going to be equal l1 di1 or dis dt minus m square over l2 dis dt. Or I can collect the terms. I have l minus l sub 1 minus m square over l sub 2 di sub s dt. If you have all these sinusoidal functions, all the numbers, you can cross the numbers, right? So that's the uh, the uh, solution. And one thing is I want to ask you, uh, so the, the i2, I just label this way, right? So if I label differently, should I get a different answer? I think we shouldn't, right? Let's see uh, if we try slightly different labeling. Let's see if the the circuit is something like this. So I didn't change anything on the 
uh, on the primary side and so this is still is and the dot I'm not going to change the dot so what I just change is uh, let's see the i2 is like this right and also I label i v2 like this and the the question v1 is going to be the same I hope so right so it just shouldn't change anything because it's just a label differently and let's see if that's the case so if I label this way and what would be the equations so the first equation and now the i1 and i2 actually they are in this in the since they're go, both going into a dot terminal right and therefore the equation for v1 is going to be equal l di1 dt plus m di2 dt right and therefore for v2 is going to be equal still v2 equals zero because I shorted on the secondary side and then, then I have m di1 dt and plus l2 di2 dt and here should l should be l sub one right and in this one the second equation here i would get uh, l i would get a di2 dt equal to equal to a negative because the here the positive move to the other side I got negative m over l2 di1 uh, dt so therefore if i substitute this here you get the same result right so v1 is still equal to l1 minus m square over l2 and di1 dt that's just dis dt so you get the same result for if I label the circuit with different, which kind of makes sense, right? Because physically it didn't change anything. Uh, you just label differently. But, uh, I, but this is how the data terminal, actually the data convention works, okay? Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it's a pretty short uh, three video clips. And uh, um, I will see you next time. Remember, no matter what you do, you just need to keep going and never stop. Okay, I'll see you next time.